All right, Benny, I'm coming for you. Credit check, what's this? Come on, man, you know I'm good for it. All right, here's my passport. Okay, now to find Benny at the tops. What, what is this? No, no, I don't wanna go see Mr. House right now. Get out of my face. In today's video, we're gonna talk about all of the outcomes for Benny in Fallout New Vegas. This is not just including the outcomes at the tops, but also if he escapes to Caesar's Fort. So let's get into it. Option number one, go in guns blazing. This is probably the most obvious outcome. You're not interested in chit chat or hearing about Benny's little schemes. You came here to put a bullet in his head and that's exactly what you're gonna do. We got a problem, boys. Now, I don't necessarily recommend this if you're doing your own playthrough. I found that it doesn't really give you the best options in terms of perks and isn't the most fun way to finish this quest. Also, every time you come back to the Tops Casino, you get attacked by chairman and it just affects your overall reputation on the strip every time you have to kill those guys. So I don't think it's really worth pursuing, but if you just wanna go in there guns blazing and end Benny with no conversation, this is an option for you. Option number two, Flip Swank. For this one, you're going to convince Benny's right-hand man, Swank, that Benny is plotting against Mr. House. There are two ways that you can do this. The first way is to pass three increasingly difficult speech checks of 15, 30, and 45. Huh? What are you talking about? That doesn't... Why would he pull a stunt like that? Got anything else to offer? He's trying to pull a fast one on the big man. Crazy bastard. You got any more? Or the second way is you can show Swank physical evidence to show that Benny is plotting against House. You'll need to present Swank with three items. Distinctive cigarette butts, which can be found on your grave in Good Springs. Benny's distinctive lighter, which you can recover from Jessup in Boulder City and note to Manny Vargas, found on a terminal in Manny's motel room in Novak. Regardless of which of these routes you choose, Swank will give you the key to go search Benny's room on the 13th floor and give you all your weapons back. Tell you what, I'll call Benny, keep him away from his suite. You go search the place. Here's the key, it's on the 13th floor. It's a room with the double doors, can't miss it. Maybe you'll find something we can show to Mr. House and get him arrested. Heading inside Benny's suite, you pass through the bedroom through a door in the back where you will find a Securitron named Yes Man, which Benny has reprogrammed and plans to use against House to take over the Strip. At this point, you return to Swank and tell him the news. He's what? Ah, jeez. Jeez, this is really bad. What are you gonna do? Take him out? Jesus. Okay, well, if you think that's the best way to deal with this, I'll send him up to his room. You can ambush him there. And don't worry about the rest of the chairman. I'll keep him from getting involved. You'll still have to watch out for Benny's guards, though. Cut it out. One thing to note, if after talking to Swank, you go up and talk to Benny in the lobby of the casino, you'll have the same dialogue options as before, but you'll have all your weapons with you and the rest of the casino will not turn hostile against you when you decide to attack Benny, only the chairman bodyguards will fight you. So to make it for a little bit of an easier fight, but it's basically the same option as if you approach Benny directly. So if you're going to work with Swank, I recommend having Benny sent up to his room where you can assassinate him alone. Option three, sexy times with the Ben man. If you are playing with a female character and have the Black Widow perk, it opens up some unique dialogue options to make a pass at Benny when you talk to him in the tops. Let's have a listen. You making a pass at me, sister? Because I'm out of your league.
Did those bullets scramble your egg? Or have you always been a naughty broad? You're one sick pussycat, baby. There's Quinns, and then there's... I don't even know what to call you. I hear dig from you, babe, and all I can think of is a shovel. How can this be? This ain't forgiveness. It's something wrong. All right, honey, baby. This is all kinds of wrong, but to my sweet it is. 13th floor. Don't keep me waiting. Following Benny up to his suite, you'll have a few options from this point. The first is to say, oh my god, you idiot. You fell for this hook, line, and sinker. Time to die, Benny. You tramp. Like I needed another social disease anyhow. Aha! If you try to talk with Benny, he'll have this to say. The time for talk has passed, honey baby. These mouths of ours have appointments to be elsewhere. And this leaves our last option, which is to sleep with Benny. You're platinum, pussycat. You know how to swing. Nice Charlies, too. Give him a shake for the Ben man, will you? Hello. Oh, that was a nice bit of hey hey, girlie. You're a real ring a ding broad. Hold me, will you? I swear you wore me out. While Benny is asleep, you will have the opportunity to kill oh. him. Oh! But if you continue to sleep, Benny will escape and leave you a note entitled, Thanks, baby. Pussycat, thanks for showing this cat the best hey hey he's ever ever. Talk about platinum in the sack, toots. Where'd you learn that 18 karat trick with the heels of your feet? You didn't just make my toes curl, they popped off and rolled under the bed. I wish I could stay for another round, but this gent's got places to be, things to do. You showing up has forced my hand, baby. The time to act is now. I won't be around for a while, but if everything works out right, you and me are a date, got it? Wouldn't miss it for all the caps in Vegas. Now don't get clingy and try to follow me. Ciao, Benny. At this point, Benny has already escaped and made his way to Caesar's Fort, and we'll explore what happens there later in this video. Option four, meet Benny in the presidential suite the sucker's way. Benny is obviously surprised when you approach him at the tops. I mean, he did shoot you in the head after all, and he's obviously expecting you to attack him on sight. So he attempts to defuse the situation by comping you a room in the presidential suite and offering to meet you there to talk with him. At this point, if you choose, fine, don't keep me waiting, or pass the barter check, he will give you a key to the suite and send you up there alone. We'll go with the barter check since we get 500 caps for it. Where's my manners? Here's some cash up front. There'll be more where that came from. Wait for me in the presidential suite. We got a future together, you and me. It's time we got started. Now, when you head upstairs, Benny will not meet you in the suite, but instead talk to you over the intercom, hence why I'm calling this the sucker's option. After asking Benny some questions and calling him a cheating bastard, there are two dialogue options from here. First is to say, you're a dead man. That temper of yours, kind of why this conversation's taking place over an intercom. Do me a favor and stay dead this time, eh? Good night all, it's been a gas. At this point, Benny sends his chairman bodyguards to attack. The second option is to pass a speech check saying, All I am is a courier trying to fulfill his duties. All this is just work ethic run wild? That's your line? I don't know. Can you get it through your thick skull to leave me and the chip alone? If bullets can't get through, what hope is there? gonna let you live what's come over me scramsville baby the stripping you part ways dig you come around me again you won't be getting back up this time benny does not send his goons to attack but instead just flees the strip 
and leaves you alive. Option 5. Meet Benny in the presidential suite the smart way. Before I talk about number 5, I want to explore a dialogue option that does not work at all. If you try to speak with Benny in the lobby, he will flat out refuse. If you press the issue, he will end the conversation and you'll have to talk with him again. Do what you gotta do, baby, and let the chips fall as they may. You know where to find me. He's only willing to speak in private, but this time we're not gonna head up there without him and let him escape. If you pass a speech check, you can press him to meet with you in the presidential suite immediately and ditch the guards. If that's what it takes to win your trust, that's what it takes. Follow me. No fun business. This gives you the option of getting him in private where you can easily dispatch of him. Then this is Ensville, baby. May the best man win. Now, if you want to hear Benny out, there are several dialogue options you can explore here. With the exclusion of all the background information on the omertas and the cons, etc., let's walk through each one. First, you can say, you're stinking up my sweet. Get out of here, bruh. Baby, you're the boss. All you gotta do is whistle. In the meantime, enjoy the high life. Room service is on me. I'll send up a bottle of the good stuff. Ta-ta. This really defeats the purpose of convincing him to come up here in the first place. Benny just leaves casually, and then his bodyguards come in and attack you. There's really no benefit to this option. But hey, I guess if you want to choose that, you can. Next, after hearing Benny out, you can decline his offer by saying, Like I'd trust you? No chance. I know, you figured me for a creep. It's your prerogative. If you change your mind, come find me on the casino floor. In the meantime, the presidential is yours whenever you want it. Adios. Benny will again leave and sick the chairman on you. We're here! Come on! Come on! Another option is to say, forget it, I forgive you. You forgive me? After what I've done? Baby, are you trying to make me cry? I don't know what to say. Words don't begin. The least I can do is copy the presidential for as long as you want it. This spirit of forgiveness you're showing me. It's enough to make a player rethink what it means to win. You're 18 karat, baby, all the way. Benny walks out again, and no chairman this time. Just kidding. Of course the bodyguards come in and attack you. The final option in this dialogue is to accept Benny's deal to work for him. Jackpot, baby. I knew we'd see eye to eye. Here's a start on your retainer. Don't spend it all in one place, and the prez is yours for as long as you want it. When you're ready to saddle up, come find me down on the casino floor and we'll plan the next step of this caper. Ring-a-ding, baby. Ta-ta. He gives you 250 caps and heads out of the suite. Just when you think you're free, the chairman spring through the door. Watch out! Over here! Come on! Alright, now that Benny's escaped, we're gonna find out where he went. But first, we're just gonna raid the bar over here. No need for these to go to waste. If you head to Benny's suite and talk to Yes Man, he'll tip you off that Benny left through an escape route and is likely headed to Caesar's Fort. Sure! He came through here in a big hurry. Didn't even stop to say hello. I think he went down his secret escape elevator out in the hall. When you leave the tops, you'll be greeted by a member of Caesar's Legion who will let you know that Benny is likely headed there as well. His mark will guarantee your safe conduct through our lands. Incidentally, it will interest you to know that the man you seek has fled this trip 
and is likely making haste for Kaisar's camp as we speak. On to Caesar's fort then. As we enter Caesar's tent, we see Benny tied up on his knees. Things have not gone well for the old Ben man. But before we talk to him, we have to speak with Caesar. Benny is my prisoner. You don't deal with him unless you've dealt with me. Don't worry. You'll get the platinum chip he was carrying, and then you'll use it like I tell you to. If we complete the first leg of the quest, Render Unto Caesar, we get to choose how Benny dies. There are three options that we will explore in a minute. But first, let's talk about option six, help Benny escape. There are two ways that you can give Benny a shot at freedom. The first involves just untying him. Low on the dice, baby. We're gonna need luck to get out of here alive. Another the Legion like immediately me. turns hostile and will most likely kill Benny and probably you as well. When I did this, I got absolutely murked. The other way to help Benny escape is to give him a stealth boy and a bobby pin. Baby, your generosity and spirit of forgiveness? Off the charts. This little care package is everything I need. I'll take it from here. Doing this will also cause the Legion to immediately turn hostile. It's really quite difficult to keep Benny alive in this situation, so proceed at your own risk. Even if Benny does manage to escape the camp, he just simply disappears from the game. So there's really no benefit in keeping him alive unless you really just like his character and want to see him get a shot at freedom. Option 7. Kill Benny in Caesar's Tent Once you've completed the first part of Render Unto Caesar, Head back to Caesar's tent, and you'll be given the option to choose Benny's death. The first and most obvious one would be just shoot him right there. I'd like to point out if you happen to pickpocket Benny's gun, Maria, and kill him with it, you will complete the challenge, talk about own. My character had pretty much no points in sneak at this point, so I wasn't able to pull this off for the video, even with a stealth boy. Damn it. I see. Keep it simple, eh? Around here, it's one of the better options. A fair kill. Option 8, Fight Benny in the Arena. This one is pretty awesome. You can go machete to machete with the old Ben man in the Legion Arena. Benny's not very good with a blade, so this should be an easy victory. Come on! Option 9, Crucify Benny. This is the final outcome for Benny, and probably the most vindictive one you can choose. Let's hear what Benny thinks of it. You sick, vindictive fuck! Benny disappears from the tent as soon as you exit the conversation. To find him, head outside the tent and down the path to where all the crosses are. There you will find Benny. Happy now, you twisted bitch? Well, I ain't gonna give you the satisfaction. Scram, will ya? And that's all she wrote for Benny. This has been all of Benny's outcomes in Fallout New Vegas. If you like the video, be sure to smash that like button and hit subscribe for more Fallout and Elder Scroll videos like this one. Until next time, this has been Big Dan. See ya! I got nothing to say to you. I got nothing to say to you. I got nothing to say to you. I got nothing to say to you.